Hundreds of thousands of people will be spending a fourth Christmas since the Grenfell fire tragedy still living in or owning flats covered in dangerous flammable cladding. Among them, NHS doctors and nurses who've had to deal with the global pandemic. The government is providing a £1.6 billion building safety fund to remove the cladding and says that it wants costs to be affordable to leaseholders. For the last month, one junior doctor has been recording a video diary of his experiences. This is Will Martin's story. The Metis building has 113 flats. I bought one in 2015. My name's Will. I'm a junior doctor working on a COVID ward in a hospital in the northwest. And I am a leaseholder in a building um, that is affected by the cladding and fire safety scandal. I'm just going on to um, a lunch break to grab a quick bite to eat. Been on the wards this morning and um, there's already a main box full of stuff to do with cladding. A £7,000 a week bill for a fire safety patrol arrives. I'm just really angry. I'm angry that I even have to think about this at work, but I'm angry that the government is expecting leaseholders to pay to fix a problem that we did not create. It feels like I'm not even a part of society, like I don't deserve to live in a safe home. So it's 2.30 in the morning, I've been laid up for about an hour, and all I can think about is the costs um, I'm facing and about how unsafe my building is. Part of our application for the government's building safety fund is rejected. It's just a slap in the face. I, I said this before, but it, it really is. It's just like to be at work, to receive that, and then to spend the entire rest of my afternoon just dwelling on that and thinking about where am I going to get that money from now then? How am I going to fix that problem? How, what am I going to do about that? It's just miserable. This situation is absolutely miserable. It is... My mental health is is a, is a, an all time low. We're told we face a four million pound repair bill. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just so exhausted and so tired of this situation. It is so consuming. Every single part of my life is consumed by this flat. The government will say that they have put up funding and um, that they have a plan in place, but there are so many, there are thousands of leaseholders like me who just are completely stuck um, and who are working really hard um, throughout this difficult time and receiving bills like that. I've been told that I'm to pay for something that I did not create in my building. I had all the surveys done. I bought in completely good faith. It shouldn't be me who is penalized for this problem. This year has been the hardest year of my life. I've started work as a junior doctor during the pandemic. I've had all the problems with my flat. And looking forward to 2021, I have just one wish, and that wish is for this nightmare to end and for the government to do what's right.